What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we have quite a few things to discuss about the jailbreaking for iOS 10.3.1 from Pangu, whatever we know new about it. We're also going to briefly discuss about WWDC because it's coming and it's important and we're going to briefly touch on the iOS 11. Also we're going to talk about Apple's intentions and why is that important for the Pangu jailbreak. Let's get straight into that so take a deep breath Take a seat and let's discuss it. Well, I'm going to start with the fact that there is still no beta for the iOS 10.3.2 uh, that is actually new. So um, if we go ahead and here on the iPhone wiki, because it's pretty quick, you can see that iOS 10.3.2 is still on beta 5. Now, this is literally strange. I mean, the last beta was on um, uh, April 27, which is roughly two weeks. This hasn't happened in the past and uh, I'm pretty sure it, it has something to do with the Pangu jailbreak because usually Apple is releasing those betas in a seven days um, schedule. So the fact that they delayed the uh, latest version, the iOS 10.3.2 beta 6 or the iOS 10.3.2, the final release, tells me more about the fact that they're playing that cat and mouse game with Pangu. Because there was a rumor saying that Pangu is going to release their jailbreak that they uh, they have demoed at Jenna's conference, the one for iOS 10.3.1. Um, it was like next week, which was probably the past week, but it didn't happen. So that rumor unfortunately was confirmed false. Pangu did not release the jailbreak and therefore we know that the account saying that was just hoaxing around. Well, there was a problem though. Because Pangu has demoed this jailbreak for iOS 10.3.1, Apple will continue to play this cat and mouse game with them and uh, while they do that and prevent Pangu from doing anything, because Pangu cannot actually do anything, because we have iOS 10.3.1 currently signed, but iOS 10.3.2 is definitely not released yet, so if Pangu releases any jailbreak in this time span, they will of course get it patched pretty easily when iOS 10.3.2 drops. And let's have a situation if Pangu, for example, drops the jailbreak tomorrow, well, Apple is going to probably rush the iOS 10.3.2, the final version, in a few days, patching the jailbreak and rendering useless. So, um, if that is actually true, if Pangu really waits for Apple to do something, then we'll probably need to uh, to wait a little bit more because they are probably in a um, self-hold on one on each other. Apple is holding Pangu from releasing anything by uh, not releasing the iOS 10.3.2 and Pangu is holding Apple from doing anything because Apple is of course waiting for Pangu to drop their jailbreak in order to patch it, which is somehow a, um, a game in here. Talking about the WWDC is actually very important because this is going to be in June uh, and is going to be at the beginning of the June, which is um, fifth. Uh, sorry, the um, June five to nine. And um, why is WWDC important? Because it's going to present iOS eleven. You probably know um, Apple releases a major iOS update on every WWDC, which is worldwide developer conference, which is held. Uh, every year or each year by Apple. Well, the problem with this thing is that if they're going to release the um, the first beta of iOS 11 as they did on the past year with iOS 10, then this means that they are working currently on iOS 11, which means the iOS 10.3.2 is currently left a little bit behind and they don't really care about it anymore until they get anything prepared for the next month because they have to present the first beta of iOS 11. And of course, iOS 11 has to be something important, has to be something major. It cannot be something like iOS 10.3.2, just a couple of bug fixes and maybe here and there something changed. Nope, it has to be something major as they do it every year. So all their forces or their all their development forces are right now focused on this WWDC preparation and of course iOS 11. So this might also slow down Pangu and might also slow down the release of iOS 10.3.2 beta. Also, something that can happen as well is 
the uh, Pangu jailbreak exploit being patched. Well, if you remember on the Redmond Pi, you have a good example in here. Pangu has demoed the first iOS 10 jailbreak at Mosaic last year. And uh, they did it for the first beta of the iOS 10, which was published, of course, at WWDC. So the event was like that. Pangu uh, had the uh, presentation after WWDC and at WWDC Apple released the first beta of iOS 10. So it, w it was uh, happening pretty quick, but before Pangu could do anything and before Pangu could release any jailbreak for iOS 10, their exploits were patched in, in the next betas. That of course rendered the jailbreak completely useless. So. Um, this might happen this year as well. We know that Mosaic is going to also be held this year and we talked about that. I'm going to have a video in the description in which we discussed more about what is going to happen at Mosaic. In case you do not know, Mosaic stands for Mobile Security Conference and um, is actually held by Pangu and uh, POC or um, Power of Community. So. Um, they're going to present a lot of things, so of course you can check out in the description. But what is important is that if they are going to do the same thing, if they're going to present their jailbreak again after WWDC, then probably Apple will have a lot of time to patch it, which is uh, actually not going to happen in my opinion, because by that time iOS 11 will be up and Pango doesn't have any jailbreak for iOS 11 yet. But anyways, that can happen. now. Uh, you should probably uh, profit of the fact that iOS 10.3.2 is still not released and save your blobs. And to do that, there is now a simple and uh, yet very good tool um, that was published by the only German guy on his repo and he published it a day ago, which is compiled for iOS. So it's basically a TimStar's TSS checker that you run on the computer to save blobs, but it runs on your uh, iPhone or your iPad or any iOS device which requires you only to have a terminal installed, a mobile terminal installed. Now this is pretty cool, uh, some of you told me you do not have a computer in order to run that or a Mac, so you can now save your blobs directly on the device by using a terminal. It's going to be pretty easy, if you want I can make a video especially on that. So this is pretty much uh, what, I, what I wanted to talk uh, about in this video. Again. I'm preparing to release this thing, it's going to be available in a day or two, and this is the iDevice portal. Now it's going to contain a lot of information about jailbreaking and so on, and as you can see you will be able to see in real time for which versions you, you do have a jailbreak and for which you do not. And also you're going to have the links to the tutorials. I really hope you are going to like this. and. Um, yeah, I've been working at this thing quite a while and it's going to also be open source, of course, because this is the actual spirit behind the jailbreaking. And uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to say. I really hope I made a lot of things clear and um, yeah, I pretty wait for the iOS 11 to drop. I, I can't wait to see what Apple did change on the iOS 11 and it's going to be pretty much uh, available soon because, well, you know, WWDC is going to be in a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, what are your favorite um, improvements that you want to be implemented into the iOS 11? Maybe it's something from a tweak, maybe it's something that you wish iOS had. Tell me in the comment section down below and also tell me if you think that Pangu is going to release this jailbreak because a lot of people are interested but we do not know for sure. If you have any idea or if you have any piece of speculation, tell it down below. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, peace out!